sharing some of our experience that we have had, and there are going to be some good ones, and there's going to be some bad ones. Um, when we're hoping by sharing our real estate investment journey that you're going to learn some secrets to your success in this area of your life. They said your income seldom exceeds your personal growth, and I believe that they people on that one. Do you, Tamara? I sure do. We definitely are not here to tell you to stop attending real estate seminars. We know we got a lot out of those. Um, we agree that continued learning is vital to everybody's success. Remember how we once started investing in real estate, attending our first few seminars, and being told how easy all this investing in real estate could be, and we discovered right away that funding was, wasn't the hardest part. Guess what was the hardest part? It was finding. Exactly. We kept coming, where are people finding these deals? They're all saying do this and do that and you know, do lease options, do foreclosures. And, and we're like, where? Where yeah, do we start? Exactly. So everybody told us about these great systems. So Tamara, I have to say that none of this would happen if it wasn't for you. You took that first big step. It takes two, but really, I think you need to take um, some blame too. It's not just my fault. All right. It's all my fault too. <laughs> we make a great team. So now let's get down and dirty into the real estate strategies. I want to know, really, you know, what is this about? What's about real estate? Let's talk about some assignments. Yeah, let's share what's worked, what didn't, and what we did next. Yeah, what would that roadblock be? Money! Money. <laughs> <I'm afraid. laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay, God. I know I messed up, I know. Now help. Yeah. And it worked. It did. It did. I'm going to give somebody else credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was giving you credit, and you gave God credit, exactly. so it's all good. Exactly. And we actually. Yeah, we did. Actually, we were so scared. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, let's, what do we? What do we? Let's tell them what we. The points. What do we do different? Okay. We wouldn't be so tight in our fix-up budget. We should have made, you know, those fix-ups in the beginning. Yeah. Because we probably, even from the beginning, would have maybe probably sold, it. sold the house because mm -hmm. we were offering it at a reasonable price. It's just that it needed to be fixed up. Yeah. And I guess everybody doesn't look at a house like an investor does. They want a fixed-up house. Yeah when they're moving in, so. And we wouldn't let the buyers, when it finally didn't get into contract, we actually let them sit out of contract for you know months outside of their contract. And yeah. I would never do that again. Definitely. I'd make them sign another contract before I would do that. I would, we were just so hungry to sell, we just kept hoping it would yeah. work out. We like, just listened to our realtor and didn't, li didn't listen to our gut instinct, which exactly. said, Ugh. I don't know if this is working. <laughs> So, you know what they say, don't you? You know that they people? <laughs> well, they say a lot, but which thing? <laughs> you live and you learn. You live and learn. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Heard that one before. Okay, so the dog story, right? Yeah, the dog story. <laughs> we do like dogs. Yeah. So one day, the this hunter and his dog, his, you know, was, was getting ready to go to the store and they live in this kind of farm-like community where there's dirt roads and there's a lot of acreage and so he's like come on let's go we're gonna go to the store and get some supplies and his dog's like okay you know you know how dogs talk they don't talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. I kind of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they get down they're going down the dirt road and the dog's just really excited I'm gonna get to go out and and there's a bunny rabbit over here so he goes oh, over here and plays with the bunny rabbit and then there's someone else over here and excited he goes over here and, and um, the owner's just like whatever you know they don't have leashes they're, they're on a dirt road and hardly any cars and and so the owner's just kind of laughing and, you know, okay, we're going to go to the store. And, and the dog's just like, ooh, 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 so much going on. And finally, they arrive to the store. And the owner, everybody knows each other. It's a little town. And the owner of the store is like, hey, man, you know, what's, what's going on with your dog? And he, the dog's like, <laughs> tired. Yeah, he's really tired. <laughs> and the owner, the, the owner of the dog, the, the farmer guy, he's like, well, you know, it's not the road you travel. It's all the distractions. And that's just, that it's so true down. that we're, yeah, it just wears you down. All this, what's going on over here? So if you don't have a goal and a purpose, then you're just going to be like, oh, this is a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's do this. Let's do that. And you get distracted if you don't have your own purpose in life. That's true. So I just so love, true. That's yeah. a good story. I love the way you tell it. That's great. That's good. Yep. So um, I want to tell you the definitions, at least my definitions of purpose. 
No, you have. But I like what it stands for. <laughs> you have much cuter bras than that. Yeah, Victoria's you know. Secret. <laughs> But we're, I'm pulling out a bra because this is our visualization that we want to keep showing support. We enjoy uh, doing with our lives so that the most, supporting yeah. and uplifting others and motivating, inspiring, supporting, uplifting. So this is our visual <laughs> to continue, continue to do that. So see, we don't look at clocks the same. We don't look at bras the same. <laughs> they, everything inspires us. Yeah.